we thank God for each and every one of you who have made this sacrifice. And again, no matter how we are going through the valley, and we are, we are still in the hands of the mighty God. And the Bible says he tore down kingdoms for their sake. Now, you, you, you think about that a minute. He tore down kingdoms for the church's sake. He took presidents down. Prime ministers down. Premiers down. Kings down. Senators down. Governors down. Mayors down. Representatives down. Hallelujah. Police chiefs down. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God. We thank God because we walk by faith and not by sight. We believe the Bible. Brothers and sisters, the Bible is true. Every word of God is true. More and more, God shows me his glory and his power. I'm here to tell you this morning, he's real. I had a situation that happened to me last week. Test by a little bit. And hadn't had that situation since I was a young minister preaching at the YMCA back in the 1980s. Jumped up on me last week, about three or four days. I said, whoa, goodness. And I don't know why the first day or the second day or the third day, I didn't think about praying. I said, well, you're 90, something gonna happen. You know, you, you can't live forever. Hallelujah. So whatever takes you out, it don't matter as long as you're in the hand of God. I thought about it. Then some said pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I prayed over that situation on an instant. And to this day, that thing went away. Now church, I share this with you because oftentimes you say, well, now this, this sound pretty good, but listen, I'm telling you, I had to sit down and think, what in the world is this going on? Is this real? It got to be real because it's happening to me. And there's one thing, you know, maybe you can lie to someone else, but you never lie to yourself. Amen. Something about the power of God yes. is real. Yes. Now, true, I'm raised to a higher level because of responsibility. Yes. But I want you to know, if God proves something to me, right. it's for me to share with you. Right. And let you know. You are not here by accident. This is not a nice fairy tale. God is real. And he will not come down in a manifestation of another appearance until he splits the sky for judgment. Otherwise, who would walk by faith? Would nobody. Hey, there he is. He can't do it that way. Faith is the only principle in which God can prove a realistic value to a person's quality of character through obedience to the faith instructions taught. Yeah. Understand that. We have to believe the Bible and the messenger God has sent yeah. to unfold the Bible. Amen. Now I want to get into my text, but let me hear from the let me hear from the bells at this time. I'm heaven bound. Plant my feet 
to those who would follow the true church. It's not by accident that the devil was allowed to fall from heaven onto the earth. It's not by accident that humanity was created with a freedom of choice. When you have a freedom of choice, it proved within yourself if you are for something or against something. The Bible says we are saved by hope, but hope which is seen is not hope. For if a man see what he hoped for, why did he get hope for it? But if we hope for that which we see not, then with patience do we wait for it. So brothers and sisters, the only proof that is positive to God is by your belief after you have been instructed in the ways of righteousness. I want you to hear me this morning. The devil is not by mistake, neither are false prophets. They are to test your relationship with God based on the truth that is given to each and every one of us. Now again, when you hear the truth, Holy Ghost quickens that truth in you to let you know this is not a fairy tale. This is the truth. Amen. This is why it's so important to understand the indwelling of the Spirit of God. Go to the upper room and wait there till you be endued with power. I call you to preach, but you can't preach yet. You don't have the strength. You don't have the staying power. You don't have the resistance. So when you sent them out, they had the power of the Holy Ghost to sustain them. Yeah. And that's why the gospel is preached freely to each and every one of us. And we have the same mind through the Holy Ghost that Christ has given us to make the proper decisions. But again, it's based on your willingness to accept the truth. Ezekiel chapter 13, read from verse 4 through 7. O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the head for the That's talking about the Farrakhans and all those hypocrite preachers. Yeah. Amen. I notice a change that he is, that is trying to come into him. All right. He's trying to reverse his hatred, but he still holds on to it. Poison is poison when you take a little bit of a whole lot. It's still poison. It's going to hurt you. So you can't compromise righteousness of God and entwine it with some type of Islamic religion that has a part of truth, but not all the truth. He made a statement that really shook me up. He said, Muhammad was more powerful than Jesus. He said, now let me explain. I'm going to explain Jesus to you. What kind of fool is going to let a Muslim minister explain a Christian principle to him? 
if any man have that the spirit of Christ, he's none of his. Now, what did Paul teach in the Corinthian letter? The natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God, yeah. neither shall he know them, for they are spiritually discerned. Yeah. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you can't write the divine word of God. Answer, you pick up the Bible and try to read it. All right. And I'm speaking to Farrakhan. When your previous leader, Malcolm X, a good man. Yes. And one thing about him, he had character yes. right. and he had discipline. Yes. When he found out that teaching hate against a different person with a different complexion didn't make no sense. And it don't make no sense. He reversed his ideology. Yes. Then the movement got together and killed him. Got him out the way. Uh-uh, we can't have this. You changing our theology. Now I see Farrakhan is trying to ease away from that teaching hatred. Hatred has no place with God. In any religion that is based its foundation on hating anything is wrong. Amen. Unless it's hating evil. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And where's that song go, I hate the devil and the devil hates me? Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ain't nothing wrong with hating the devil. But people are not the devil unless you teach them how to be like devils. Yeah, people hate because someone is teaching them hatred. Right. Jesus never taught hatred. No, right. He yeah. taught you to know your adversary. Yeah. And you hate everything that's not like Christ. Yeah. But you don't hate an individual yeah. because he's an individual. Yeah. Let him prove himself. Right. So I'm saying to those foolish Muslims, you yet following that man. You see he's trying to wiggle waggle. Mm -hmm. First of all, anybody wiggle waggle, he ain't got no strength in him. Right. Right. Come out. Say you was wrong. Right. Teaching hatred. Tell, you, tell your people you was wrong and you repent. But he ain't going to do that. Right. Because too much pride is in him. I see him trying to get out the jam he's in. But sometimes you can get too far out in that water. And you can't swim back. All right, all right. Sometimes you need some help. All right, free. But you're too proud to ask God for help. Now, when you get in deep water, you ain't going to say, Allah help me. You're going to say, Jesus help me. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm just trying to inform. Maybe there's a Muslim out there who is listening to me. Yes. You still can repent. Right. It just takes a little bit of humility. Yes. Where am I at? You think you're chapter 13, verse 4 through 6. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. You have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. In other words, uh, the prophets have not went out and taught the people the correct way so that when judgment comes, they can escape. Read. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And the Lord has not sent them. Yes. God ain't never sent Prophet Muhammad. Amen. Amen. He ain't sent Farrakhan. Right, he ain't sent Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who did he send? He sent me. Hallelujah. And try to correct what I teach. Lining up with the Bible. I ain't thinking about that Quran. I don't yeah. know nothing about that Quran. And you don't either. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Right. How could Muhammad be stronger than Jesus? When Muhammad came about 400 years after the time of Justin Martyr. Yes. Amen. Islam was created approximately 600 years after the Christian faith. Yes. yes. They're the ones who have adopted some of the Christian principles. Amen. Yet they have took their own sense of direction. But you have to follow the apostles as is. You can't create another form of apostle. Right, and follow that one. Yeah. That's what happened to Islam. They wanted Muhammad to be greater than an apostle. Yeah. But if you want to follow God, you've got to follow his apostles yeah. and his prophets. Yeah. You can't create a prophet that God has not chosen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, I know what I'm saying is true. Yeah. So we today are in a whole bunch of confusion because you got people following a cult of personality and not following someone teaching the Holy Bible. Amen. The word of God is true. And it will not make a liar out of nobody but the devil. Yes. Amen, amen. But you don't have to have the devil in you right. if you rebuke him. Yeah. God should rebuke the devil and he'll flee from you. Right. But you got to have enough discipline and courage within you to say, mm, I'm wrong. I'm going to get myself right. right. 
I know. Hallelujah. When I was in that false church and them people was talking all kind of crazy talk, you was confused because they was confused. Amen. Who is Jesus? They still don't know who Jesus right. is. Amen. And Mr. Farrakhan, you don't either. Lord. He made a statement, well, let me explain to you uh, how the son of man. Yes. Well, you might have explained son of David too. All right, Lord. And what about son of God? They're all equated in the same venue. Son of man means God incarnate. Yes. Yes. God in personality born. Yes. Son of David means God incarnate. Amen. How'd they go? The Lord said to my Lord, set yes. thee on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. Yes. Then he asked the question, if David called him Lord, how is he his father? Yes. Is he his son? Yes. How can Jesus be the son of David, yet David called him Lord? Hallelujah. Yes. Let's go in some deep water here. And right, you divide the word of truth. Jesus, again, is God Almighty if you take the proper noun of Jehovah. Because we know that he made everything that was made was made by him. Give me a, a John's Gospel, chapter 1. Let's break this thing down. Read from verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Whoa. All things were what? Made by him. All things. Not some things, not most things. All things were made by... Now notice, to the Catholic Church, it was made by him. All right. The Nicene Creed states there are three separate persons in the Godhead. Yes. Three separate persons, co-equal yes. and co-existent. Yes. Co-equal mean they all had the same amount of power. Right. That cannot possibly be. Yes. But that's where your Baptist church, Lutheran church, uh, and he, uh, Farrakhan comes out of the Episcopal church. All them churches are Trinitarians. That's right. Y'all going the wrong way. Amen. You can't go the right way if you don't know the right way. Amen. So when God sends a teacher to teach you, you better follow that teacher and not follow a false teacher. I don't care how smooth he talks. He can talk smooth. Yes, amen. How convinced he talks? He talks convincingly. Uh -huh. But he's not telling all the truth. Nope. Listen, half the truth will get you just as much lost as uh, all of the truth. Well, not, I say none of the truth. Yes. Amen. See, you can't take half truth because then you've got to impart half untruth. All right, amen. Amen. <laughs> See, you can't make a, a cake and a pie same in the same sequence. Yes. All right. Glory. One is made altogether different. Uh -huh. One's a cake, that's why one's a pie. That's why they call one a cake and one a pie. Right. You don't go to the restaurant and say, give me a piece of pie and they bring you a piece of cake. All right. Glory. Something wrong. Yes. What? It's not in order. All right. Everything must be done decently and in order. When we understand the rules of God, we have to follow the rules of God as God has established for the church to follow him. Yes. And you can't follow a leader who's not following the word of truth. Lord. And I say again to all of the Pentecostal leaders out there, pastors, why don't you submit and follow me? Let's get right. together in right. one accord. Yeah. You don't want to do that because every now and then you want to drift off your own way. And I ain't going to let you drift off your way. You got to follow me. Right. So we can all together follow one way. Yeah. Not one go this way and one go that way. Yeah. That's for you. That's why you got the Baptist, Methodist, and a uh, seven day Adventist, yeah. Jehovah Witness, on and on and on. Yeah. Each following supposedly the same Jesus. Yeah. But many of them don't even know who Jesus is. How could he be God and he died? You can't figure that out. Uh -huh. And I tried to explain that many times before. You're dealing with flesh and spirit. He was the spirituality of God, supreme being, yes. divinity. But he also was a human being, a body. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 18, chapter. Three men appeared before men. Abraham. Yes. And the Bible said one of them was the Lord. Oh. But in the old King James Bible, they had in the caption, an angel appears before Abraham. No, no. Because what? They don't want, they don't want they're afraid to change the, the actual wording of the scripture text. So they change the heading. Right. An angel. So you think, well, it was an angel appeared before Abraham. There was two angels appeared uh -huh. before him, but he saw three three men. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said one of them was the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Lord is not an angel. Right, the Lord made angels. Oh, yeah. 
And the Lord didn't make himself because he always was. That scratch your head and figure that out. God always was. He had no beginning and no ending. Yeah. If you could take a compass and draw a true circle and you stand back and look, where did the circle start? And that didn't have a start. Yeah. Where? You might as well measure the God here just like that. Where did God start? I don't know. Then sit down and let me explain to you. How you going to explain to me? I'm going to explain to you very briefly and shortly. Yes. He always was. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute. Always was. Yeah. Always was. He's eternity. Yes. Eternity is, is indefinite. Yes. It's infinity. Yes. It always goes on. Yes. Didn't it have a beginning? No, because it always goes on. Yeah. It's like the endless circle. You can't figure out where it started, and you can't figure out where it ends. Why? Because the circle never ends. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when we can understand that and come to a reality that Son of Man meant God incarnate, mm -hmm. Son of David meant God incarnate, Amen. and God incarnate. Yeah. All three mean God in a personality form. Yeah. Now I said before, the error with the Trinitarians is trying to make the Holy Ghost a person. But God should go to the upper room and wait there till you be in do, do with power from yeah. on high after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Now, did the Holy Ghost come on some of them or all of them? Or did he sit beside them? All right. He indwelled them. He said, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Pour out my spirit on all flesh. Amen. You can't pour out a person on another person. <laughs> put a spirit in another person, but you yeah. can't put a person in a spirit. All right. yeah. That would mean the spirit would have a body and the spirit don't have a body. Yeah. Yeah. And to be a person, you got to have a body because you have to have a personality and be a personality, you got to be a person. To have a, be a person, you got to have a body. Yeah. Yeah. So the Bible says a body has not prepared for me. Yeah. God stepped into that human body, went to Calvary and died. Amen. Did God die? No. What died? The body. The lamb, Amen. the sacrifice, yes. the body that was prepared for him. Amen. What would the word prepared? Prepared means I arranged it right. in a human form so that it could actually die. Amen. But the spirit never died. Oh. What was the spirit? The glory? When he was in there, God began somebody and he prayed to the Father. Where was his father? In glory? Mm -hmm. oh. But who was he? He was the Father. That's right. In the spirit, not in the body. Oh. God, we Am I in John's gospel? Yes. Get in John's gospel again, and I want you to pick up from verse 4. And him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The light shines in darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. If you go in a dark room, I mean pitch dark, and you don't actually know where the light switch is. All right. You can wonder and bump into everything until you find that switch. Yes. If you don't never find that switch, you might well sit down somewhere because you ain't never going to turn on the light. Right. Yeah, Just wait till day that comes. Right. But if you keep following around, say, I'm leaving it's over here. I know it's over here. I know it's against this wall. So when you, you start going up, down the and you find you, oh, here it is. Boom. Yeah, but if you don't know where the light switch is, hear me somebody. See? If you don't know the right division of the Bible, you will never come to the full knowledge of God. Amen. So you better sit down and relax. Get away from that Muslim organization. Uh -huh. They decided recently. Get rid of any group that teaches hate. I don't care if they try to switch around it now. Uh -huh. Oh, well, now they're not all actually of the devil. Yeah, okay. So now you're going to try to switch it around. Then that means you got to rebuke that leader who founded you. Amen. And the one who founded him. Uh, Praise be to Farad Muhammad yeah. the Mahdi or the yeah. Christ. Yeah. No, they were one Christ. Yeah. He tried to confuse yeah. Acts 4 and 12. Neither is salvation in the other, for there's no other name under heaven by you must be saved. He said, now let me explain it to you. And I had to turn the TV off. I said, now I don't want, please, I don't want to get upset today. <laughs> I had to turn the TV off. He going to explain it. Ain't no way to explain it. That's right, bro. Jesus is the Savior. Amen. Though the name... Peter did not mention a name, but he said, neither is there salvation yes. All right. in any other, any other. Talking about now personality, for there's no other name, personality, right. whereby you must be saved. Yes. Amen. 
It's not Muhammad. Lord. Yeah, yeah. It ain't Farrakhan. For sure, it ain't Farrakhan. Yeah. Ain't Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. Hallelujah. The name is Jesus. Yeah. Go to Matthew 1, 21. And he shall save his people from their sins. Yeah. That makes him the Savior. Neither is there salvation. The word salvation is taken from the word save. So who's the Savior? Jesus. So what is his name? Jesus. So let me explain it to you, Mr. Farrakhan. The salvation name is not uh, Muhammad. It's Jesus. Amen. For he shall save his people. That's a possessive pronoun in case you don't know. Yeah. His belonging to. Yes. From their sins. Yeah. And not Muhammad. Muhammad can't save nobody. Yeah. I'm sorry that he's not saved himself. Oh, Amen. And I... And you know, since I'm praying for him now, because he's gone. All right, look. All right. But I mean, he had a chance. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said he rode up to heaven on a horse. Yeah. I believe he's still riding. All right. Hallelujah. He's going to be riding a long time. Right. <laughs> but he ain't going to go to heaven. Yeah. 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 Especially not on no horse. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord. When the trouble of God shall sign the end, he'll split the sky. And that same Jesus whom you see ascend up into heaven shall return in like manner. Yeah. Ascend up to heaven. Heaven is not down here. Amen. Now there's scripture you can confuse. Yes. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of the Bible you can confuse. Yes. That's why I say if you just sit in your chair, turn your YouTube on and watch me, I'll correct you and show you the proper way. Amen. If you have the discipline and the humility of heart to be corrected, everybody who hears the truth has got to fall down on their knees and say, Lord, I was wrong. Would you please send me the truth? And if you do that, he'll send you the truth. Amen. But when the truth comes, oh, well, you've got to swallow it down. Yeah. I said, when I joined the Holiness Church, the Pentecostal Church, the Jesus Only Church, how many times did I said, my God, say, I'll never go back. Because I had something in me that rejected what I was trying to be taught. But I kept going back. Something in me. Right. Yeah. When I said, I'd never go back. That Tuesday will be back. That Friday night will be back. That Sunday will be back. I went to church so much that a lot of the people say, you know, I wonder what he did. He, you know, you don't never miss church talking about me. Uh -huh. And I didn't. And this is a funeral. Yes. Never miss church. I wonder what he did. Did he kill somebody? Did he rob 99 bank? What? I wonder what he did. Right. You keep wondering. I know what I did. Right. I was a devil in human form. And when, hallelujah, when I found the truth, I said, I'm going to hold on to this. Right. I don't care how bad it hurts. Hallelujah. And it hurts sometimes. Oh, hallelujah. You know, sometimes you flinch when you think the preacher is preaching right at you. Right. <laughs> you know how you, you, uh, you my goodness, ouch. Hey, you, 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 you hit me again. But it's to correct you. It's not to hurt you. It's to take something out. When the dentist pulls the tooth, now they get to you that Nova came. But sometimes that Nova can't don't work. Why? Right, well, tooth is too bad. Right. Too much disease. Okay. But it's actually to come out anyhow. I remember when that doctor had pulled my tooth, man, that thing was hurting. He said, it's still hurting. He said, I can't give you no more Nova King. I didn't give you the limit. He said, you just got to hold on. I'm going to try to hurry up and do it. But I'll tell you the truth. I was coming out that chair. He said, I got it. I said, I'm, thank God, because I was getting out of here. I didn't even get out of there. That, that's the truth. That thing hurt me so bad. Listen, sometimes the word of God can hurt you so bad because it's a sword. It's trying to cut out something that is diseased. It has to be taken out. Yes. God can't put his spirit into Preach. that that's corruptible. Yes. Everything got to be taken out of you. It's wrong. Hallelujah. And that's where humanity comes Preach. in. Preach. I want to be taught the word of yes. truth. But you can't keep running when you hear the word of truth. You can't leave the church because you don't like the truth. Preach. Set your mind. Right. I'm going to sit here and get the truth. All right. And then pray about it. Yeah. And God will show you this is the truth. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, this is the truth. Yeah. So if you keep have humility and go back, get more and more of the truth, the more you'll like the truth and hate a lie. Yeah. That's why I say people who have left here, you sit in one of these false churches, you're just as miserable and unhappy as you can be. Because yeah. you're going to say to yourself, now wait a minute, Papa never taught that. That's right. And I didn't. That's right. So why are you there? Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Preaching good. That's a question in itself. Why are you there? When you know, preach a line. Yeah. Look around, see them sisters all painted up and yeah. everything, and then you try to put on a little makeup and look in the mirror and be so convicted. Yeah. Yeah. Man, preach. 
Hallelujah. One of the sisters left the church, used to be a teacher. They got a, got a picture of her on the, what, the Instagram or whatever they call it, with, with pants on and smiling. The, the devil will make you a joke. All right, glory. You better listen to me. All right. You better throw them pants away, get on your knees and repent to God and say, Lord, give me a tank full of gas and just please protect me on the highway. I'm going back home. Prodigal son left God. Hallelujah. My will say the church. Yeah. If you put it in parable form. That's yes. But when he found out his condition, one thing he had, that was humility. He didn't say, I'm going to kill myself. No. He didn't say, wait a minute, I'm going to, maybe I can do a little, little bit better than the pigs. Mm -hmm. He could have said that, but he said, no, I see my situation. Right. I see my condition. Y'all hear me? Yeah. I see the condition I'm in. I'm going back home. Well, what are they going to say about you? I don't care. They're going to laugh at you. I don't care. Amen. You got to sit in the back. I don't care. Amen. You might have to back in the church every night. I don't care. Amen. I'm going back to the church. Amen. I don't care what nobody thinks. I think what God thinks Amen. of me. That's why I'm going back. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, don't never let the devil trick you yeah. to make you think you done done so much. You can't never go back. Yeah. But you can't go back if you keep playing that game. All right. Laughing at the church, mocking the church, uh -huh. and thinking you strengthen yourself and fools that hear you. Yes. But you can join hands and still go to hell. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, get, get a whole house full of people. All y'all laugh about you like, and you're still going to the same hell. Uh -huh. oh. But there ought to be one amongst you. I believe there's one because they said that uh, he opened up last a couple of weeks ago, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Working people don't just send three hundred dollars for fun. Yeah. Something's convicting them. Yes. How they do? Because they just could put a twenty dollar in the bill and they send it. You know. Mm -hmm. No, they put three hundred. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a lot of money for working people. Yeah. I don't care. Right. What kind of job you got? Three hundred, still three hundred dollars. Yeah. Ain't nobody rich here. Yeah. Ain't nobody drawing no foreman's pay. All right. All right. Hallelujah. She's trying to show something to God and to the leader. I know I messed up and I want to get back. So I'm sending you this, pray for me. Yeah, right. And I pray for her. But when I pray for you, something got to move in you beside putting something in an envelope. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you could put yourself in a, in, a, in a bus or a car and go to where God wants you to go. Yeah. You, can't, you can't, listen, you can't believe in God or far off. Right. You got to be where God is. Now, if you're in a position where you can't be, you got YouTube. Amen. Get YouTube on. Get the prophet on. Get your Bible. And get comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. Right. And start listening to the word. Right. And start saying amen. amen. Hallelujah. Every time y'all say the truth, you need to say amen. Oh, amen. Every time I say Jesus, you need to say amen. Oh, yeah. amen. Every time I say thank the Lord, you need to say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Together, we can overcome the adversary and win our victory. But as an individual, Amen. each individual, even though collectively gathered, still got to make his individual mind. I don't care what nobody says or does. I'm going to heaven. I made up my mind. I'm going to follow the leader right into the gates of heaven. Amen. And I'll take you there. Amen. If you follow me. Yeah. And I'm not talking about while I'm here. I'm talking about after I'm gone. All right. yeah. You got to follow me. Yeah. My teaching ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Apostles are gone, but the teaching is still here. Yeah. Apostles are gone, but the teaching is still here. Yeah. Jesus is gone, but the teaching is still here. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Give me a, a Peter. First Peter chapter 2. I'm winding down. Preach. I want chapter 2. Read me verse 6 and 7. And I hope Farrakhan's listening. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone. A chief cornerstone. Elect, precious, and he that believeth on him. Did you say precious? All right. Yes. Well, Hallelujah. Yes. Read. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Uh -huh. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto you to them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. Now, talking about the cornerstone, I said before, anytime you build a house or a building, you got to first have one stone, one brick, 
in its proper place. Yes. Then all your measurements, all your dimensions go from that one stone. All right. Yes. If that stone is wrong, your your dimension and your 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 whole configuration is gonna be wrong. All right, yes. preach. But that stone is right, and they take all kind of instruments and measure, make take a string, tie it down, one end of the string, and then uh, take right. that thing, don't they? Get it? That, that cornerstone got to yeah. be right. Yeah. Right, because yeah. the whole house, All right, all right. whole oh. building, yeah. got to go according to that cornerstone. Yes. The cornerstone that was laid in Zion is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, Thank the you. God yeah. of glory. Yeah. Yeah. Read. And a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Into this marvelous light. You are holy people, a royal priesthood. And I've told you in times past, true light. You are special. Yes. I wish you could put that into your head over and over again. You are special. I don't care where you sit in the church. You are special. Right. God has chosen you to be a special people. Yes. And you have a calling on your life. And the calling, it it takes place over any other natural calling in your life. It right. takes it takes uh, 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 the uh, it goes over your job. Over your job, and everybody got to work, but it becomes for your job. It becomes as before him, before her, before they or those. Your calling is the prerequisites in which God is going to formulate the future tense of his church. Everything is done off the foundation. Foundation is wrong. Nothing in the house is going to stand. So we today represent the last latter day I say foundation of the church of God yeah. and that's why we can't man we can't twist or turn or slant in any way right. we got to go forward now I want to close uh, give me a, a first Peter chapter 4 and take note from verse 11 I want to really I think 11 through 16 first Peter chapter 4 11 through 16 if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man speak, I'm fair kind of listen. Let him speak as the word of God. Oracles of God mean the word of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. Uh -huh. That God give in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. But, but praise is forever and ever to Jesus Christ. Yes. God is a jealous God. And he say you should worship no God but me. Amen. He's a jealous God. It, 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 Muhammad's name ain't in there nowhere, is it? Uh, right. Allah's name in there? No. Read that again. Oh, Lord. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God given. Uh -huh. that, that God given all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Oh, you stop right now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory. Did you hear that? Will you read that again? That verse. Yeah. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Speak as authority of God. Yes. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God gives him. God gives him the ability. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Lord, don't let me fail. Oh, I want to be your friend. When my way seems dark, hold me by your side. When my faith is weak, let's wait. Oh, I want to thank you for that powerful sermon for our prophet now this morning. Amen. Let's give him a powerful hand. Amen. You know, I'm the Jesus who set my life all on. I got my bishop, prophet, prophet, and dedicated faith. I'm so happy to Jesus, honor, and true spirit. I'm late, you look like a mother walking man to the temple, holding on. I'm the one who sees. Thank God for the word, amen. Prophet was saying the freedom of choice, amen. We have a freedom of choice by your belief once you've been instructed to God, amen, by God, amen. And he said, uh, he's speaking about this, these fake and false preachers, amen. And I think uh, they basically need, Farrakhan need to come here, and, as I guess he's pretty old now, and, and let Prophet lay hands on him and let him repent, amen. That he got old for him just to hear Prophet. Yeah. 
you know, God. So he got a chance, amen. I think he said, uh, they're not holy, but they got a ghost, amen. But I thank God, prophet, for teaching us. He said, deep water. He got so deep that, you know, the pride has left him. You know, he got in that pride and he got so deep yeah. in water that he can't come back. But he can. He has a chance for prophet, amen. amen. So come and see a prophet. And this Jesus is only one. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, amen. I thank God. I don't know why these preachers, I know why they keep coming up against prophet because they don't have what prophet have and they're right. jealous as I say again they're jealous and all they need to do is come in and so we are, we are holy people amen thank God for your holy people and we are a royal priesthood amen the yes. bible says that and prophets speak about the authority amen and he went over and over we got to give God the glory amen to Jesus this man the word authority giving God the glory and we come to praise him and lift him up and that's what God wanted to do lift him up amen but I thank God he said walk by faith and he first spoke about amen and i thank god for the word of god amen and yes. not to you know they need to sit down yes. and you know it's sad because i think it really that muslim stuff coming when they're in prison and then they all of a sudden yeah. in this yeah. prison they get wrapped up and they go in there and then they come out and they come with these little bow ties thinking mm -hmm. they've got some word and all they got to do is listen to what their mama told them right. the bible jesus love you if they listen to their mama instead of going in uh, incarceration and getting hooked up in the muslim uh demonic organization yeah. amen but i thank god for the truth amen is pentecost true yeah. light pentecost church as the bible says so i thank god that we are not wrapped up in that we could have been there you know but look we have the veil because of the word the bible and they're copying off jesus but they don't want to accept it so i thank god for the word i thank god for there's one prophet amen and they hate him because he tell the truth thank god we ain't muslim thank god we ain't baptist thank god we know that they are pentecost in one accord amen we can be like that. We were like yeah. that. We thank God for our prophet, amen. Let's give him another hand for the truth, amen. I could see it to be lost like that. I'm going to stand and be dismissed, amen. Thank God for the word again. Yes. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent, one from another, in Jesus' name.